Today we will discuss low hemoglobin and hematocrit levels in a simple and easy to understand way. Have you ever wondered why some people have low levels of hemoglobin and hematocrit in their blood? Let's dive into the reasons behind this common blood test abnormality. Low hemoglobin and hematocrit levels can be due to various reasons, including occult bleeding, this means hidden blood loss, which could be happening inside your body without you noticing. It's like a stealthy thief, slowly decreasing your blood's iron levels. Increased red blood cell destruction. Imagine your body is a factory and suddenly it starts breaking down its products, red blood cells, faster than it should. This can lead to a drop in hemoglobin levels. Bone marrow suppression. This is when the bone marrow, your blood cell factory, isn't working properly. It could be due to a variety of causes like certain medications or illnesses. Nutrient deficiencies. Just like a plant needs nutrients to grow, our blood cells need iron and other vitamins. Without them, the production of healthy blood cells can be affected, leading to low hemoglobin and hematocrit levels. It's essential to understand that these causes can manifest differently. For instance, if occult bleeding is the source, the size of red blood cells, known as MCV, is usually normal or low, whereas in cases of hemolysis or increased red blood cell destruction, MCV can be normal or high. Are there times when low hemoglobin and hematocrit levels become an emergency? Let's look at some red flags that mean you should seek immediate medical attention. Hemodynamic instability. This is a fancy term for when your heart and blood vessels aren't working together correctly, affecting blood circulation. Hemorrhage. Obvious but critical. If you're experiencing significant blood loss, it's a direct path to low hemoglobin levels. Brisk or new onset hemolysis. Imagine your body suddenly shifts into overdrive, destroying red blood cells rapidly. This can be life-threatening. End organ ischemia. This means vital organs like your heart or brain aren't getting enough blood. It's like a traffic jam in your blood vessels. Emergencies related to pancytopenia. This is when you don't have enough of all the different types of blood cells. Now, how do doctors figure out why your hemoglobin and hematocrit levels are low? Here are some of the detective tools they use. Complete blood count with differential and platelet count. This is like taking a head count and doing a roll call for all the different cells in your blood. Reticulocyte count. Reticulocytes are young red blood cells. This test tells doctors how your body is responding to the loss of red blood cells. Peripheral blood smear. Examination. By looking at your blood under a microscope, doctors can see if there are any abnormal cells, which gives clues about what's going on. Iron studies. This includes tests for serum iron, total iron binding capacity, and ferritin. These tests help in understanding if your body has enough iron to make healthy red blood cells. Tests for vitamin B12 and folate levels. These are essential nutrients for making red blood cells. Low levels can lead to anemia. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.